That's right, ladies and gents, it's the time of the year where awkward moments of pandering, Wii Remote Connection interruptions, and Final Fantasy VII Remakes get announced. E3, what are you doing? E3. The one, the only. E3. E3 is honestly one of my favorite things about the gaming industry. From the wonder, excitement, and speculation about what's to come, E3 has it all. Being just over a month away from the Electronic Entertainment Expo, I decided we should jump straight to speculation and talk about seven games that could be revealed at E3 2017 in no particular order. First off, let's talk about some new IP. Partly because there's a 50-50 chance of this showing up, and we really know next to nothing about it. Bioware, whom you all know from titles like Mass Effect Facial Issues and Dragon Age Inquisition, have been hard at work on a new IP, being referred to as Dylan. We don't know much about Dylan as of right now, except for a basic concept. Reports and rumors have been circulating over the past few months calling it a sci-fi themed game, sort of like Destiny, taking some elements from The Division, so it's kind of an MMO. Regardless of the concept, Bioware making a non-Star Wars themed MMO on console is interesting, and I'd love to learn more about all the aliens we're going to be able to bed, because obviously you know what's going to happen. In the vein of new IP, we should mention what it is that From Software is going to be showing at the convention this year. Rumors have been flying around about a Dark Souls collection on the Switch, sign me up for that, but even more relevant as far as breaking new ground, we might be seeing Bloodborne 2. At this point in time, it's almost been about two years after stepping foot into Yharnam, even more recently for me, and I'm loving every second of it. After seeing the immense open world and varying paths that make Bloodborne look linear in comparison from Dark Souls 3, I would love to see what From Software carry over from the lessons they learned in the final Souls game into the next Night of the Hunt. Bonus fun fact for ya, there's a decent chance we see a new title from From Software since they're reportedly working on three titles. Castlevania, Armored Core, who knows? While we're covering PlayStation exclusives where you go into a gothic setting and kill monsters, let's talk about The Order 1886. So The Order 1886 is basically a cinematic tech demo that was a generic game painted over with an early next-gen coat of paint, but has a fantastic concept and world. It would be great to see Sony revitalize this series, as The Order 1886 was left somewhat open-ended with a pretty sweet universe to explore in, hopefully, 1887? Who knows? So enough exclusive talk, let's move on to Bethesda. Bethesda has recently put out a promotional piece of art displaying their franchises being part of a theme park with stuff like Doom, Quake, Fallout, and Prey being prominently featured, but there are two different areas labeled under construction. A notable absence in Bethesda's blood-soaked heavy metal Disney World is the reboot of Wolfenstein that received massive critical acclaim upon its release. Even back at last E3 when Quake Champions was revealed, the DOS boot-up teased Wolfenstein the new Colossus, so maybe we'll be stepping back into the boots of BJ Blazkowicz once again to kill Robo-Nazis. The other absence on the theme park board could be a number of things, but most realistically it's a sequel to Shinji Mikami sleeper horror title, The Evil Within. Being credited as the director of both the original Resident Evil and Resident Evil 4, two of the best in the series, the gaming genius moved on to release one of the first big next-gen titles with The Evil Within. While it met somewhat lukewarm sales but a decent critical response, Bethesda bring back Mikami to make a follow-up to The Evil Within seems like a great idea. Next up is DMC. Not Run DMC. DMC as in Devil May Cry, but not DMC Devil May Cry, DMC we mean Devil May Cry 5. Sorry for the bit, but recently the long-running action slasher series Devil May Cry was rebooted starring the edgelord version of Dante being titled DMC Devil May Cry. Personally, I would love to see Capcom pick up the new Dante by his bootstraps and give this new series a fresh take on life but the rumors don't seem to be headed in that direction, with voice actors of the old Dante and Virgil teasing that they're working on a new project at Capcom, it's looking like the proper version of these characters will be returning for Devil May Cry 5. If you pair this on top of the fact that Devil May Cry 4 got a PS4, Xbox One next gen release, it just makes sense. And here we are at number one, boobs, guns, wub 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 dubstep memes the game number two, poop plus one. Not clear as Borderlands 3. After the massive flop of Battleborn and Randy Pitchfork Pitchford going back and forth on whether the game will become free to play or not, plus the massive flop that was Evolve, 2K looks like it needs some big income, and they'll likely be turning to Gearbox Studios to put out Borderlands 3 for a nice big payday. Borderlands has amassed quite a fan following over the years, myself being included in it. Shout out to Tales from Borderlands for your PS Plus this month. 
So the promise of returning to Pandora and Helios and some new planets in search for vaults sounds pretty jolly. Pair this with the recent tech demo that was showed off earlier in the year, and we could very well be getting Borderlands 3 later in 2017. So there you have it, 7 games that could reveal themselves at E3 2017. What do you hope to see happen? What do you think of my picks? Do you think they seem realistic? Is there anything you think I'm missing? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Personally, I would love a new Prince of Persia game because I love that series so damn much and every year it's my E3 wish. I love me some solid platformers. I did like the watercolor reboot, it would be cool to see him revisit that, but who knows. As always, if you enjoyed, like and share it, it's like tipping your waiter, it helps us out a ton, we really appreciate it. Subscribe so you never miss any of our gaming content, and with that being said, greatness awaits, and we'll see you all in the next video.